Hello and welcome to the Blue Runner Creole Kitchen. This is Frank Brightson and today we're going to talk about some of the fundamentals of good cooking and that starts with vegetables. Our old friend onions, celery, and bell pepper. The foundation of so many wonderful dishes in Louisiana cuisine. If you have trouble chopping these vegetables, I want to help you out. Let's start with some celery. We have a bunch of celery here and the idea here is to do it efficiently without a lot of waste. So I'm going to cut off the stem end and then the tops and show you how to utilize as much of the celery as possible. A lot of people just cut these leafy parts off, but actually if you take a sharp knife and just trim, you can get most of the celery without losing too much. Now you can save all these ends for your stock pot if you make stock, of course. Naturally a good knife technique is important and people ask me what kind of knife should I get? The main thing is a sharp knife. A dull knife is extremely dangerous and will slow you down. Back to our celery, we're going to cut it into thin strips and that will help us get smaller pieces for our cooking. And then utilize as much of it as your hand is comfortable with. I like to use maybe four bunches and I'm building a wall with my knuckles if you can see that. That's the proper technique. Keep your fingers bent and your thumb bent and that way you won't cut yourself. As you get down you may want to cut them even shorter and that way you can get more done at one time. These are very important vegetables in cooking and it pays to get comfortable with them. You can see how nicely that is. Nicely chopped put that into a bowl and that's our celery. Another important vegetable in Louisiana cooking is the bell pepper and this is a tricky vegetable to cut because of its shape. Whenever I cut vegetables I try and utilize the natural shape of the vegetable as an ally, as my friend. So with this green bell pepper for instance a lot of people will cut that in half and pull the seeds out and that's okay but there's a better way to do it. I'm going to lay the pepper on its side and I'm going to cut around in a circle, cutting around the seeds, you see. That's a good way to get all that off. I'll take the top and then you can take this, the outer bell pepper, and cut it into what we call planks. This way you have a shape of vegetable that's much more easy to cut. And we'll cut that into strips and then dice. Same holds true with any color bell pepper, of course. The green bell pepper is very important in Louisiana cuisine because of its in intrinsic flavor. There, one bell pepper done. Now it's time for what I consider the most important ingredient in your kitchen, the onion. How boring would food be without onions? No matter where you're cooking, in Louisiana, in Paris, in Bangkok, onions are the key to good food. Now, the onion is something again where I want to take advantage of the natural layers of the onion to help me. So I'm going to trim off both ends, cut it in half. Now of course you can save these outer skins for your stock pot. Very good for that. Celery and onion are very good for stock pot, not so much the bell pepper. Now, for the onion, I'm going to cut parallel to the straight end, and I'm going to make strips. Then turn it sideways and cut in an arc around, and that way we're using the natural layers of the onion to create diced onions. Quick and easy. Straight end parallel with the knife and then dice in an arc and that creates a nice half inch diced yellow onion. Onions are your friend. Don't fight them, get to know them. Now, now you're ready to do some cooking. Another important technique in vegetable preparation is blanching vegetables. Let's say you want broccoli or cauliflower or green beans for supper. You want to blanch those vegetables without overcooking them. 
And that's a very simple method for that. The important part of that is to get a nice uh, pot of hot water boiling. I like to add a little bit of salt, just a pinch of salt, and I also put a pinch of sugar, just a little bit. And I think that helps keep the broccoli nice and bright green. The most important part is an ice bath. Here we have a bowl of ice water. Before I cook the broccoli, I get the ice bath ready. That way when the broccoli is cooked, it goes right into the ice water. It shocks the broccoli and stops the cooking process. Let's prepare our broccoli. I have some nice heads of broccoli here. I'm going to cut off the stem end where it was cut. Now I like the broccoli stems. I think they're very delicious. So I'm going to utilize that. I'm just going to slice that. And then when you get down to the florets, turn it upside down and just cut in a circle and the broccoli will just naturally fall apart into florets. See how simple that is? Now, the water's boiling. Let's go right into the boiling water. So we want to bring this back to the boil as quickly as possible. I have my ice water ready and a slotted spoon to take the broccoli out. Same holds true for cauliflower, green beans, carrots, anything that you're going to blanch like that. Now our broccoli has come back to the boil and as soon as you get a good rolling boil I'm going to pull that broccoli out and put it directly in the ice water and that shocks the broccoli and stops it from cooking. Then when you're ready to eat it you can saute it or add it to a different vegetable mix or go right to the table with it. You can see it has a nice bright green color. It's tender, but a little firm, al dente, and that's the way broccoli should be eaten. If it overcooks, it gets a very strong taste and of course no texture. Now, I'm gonna stir this around, and I've got just enough ice in here to cool off the broccoli, and the ice will melt. So it'll just be sitting in ice water. And this is great for salads, of course. Uh, crudités, raw vegetables with a little dip. But you can see that bright green color, that's what I'm looking for. That's perfect. And there you have it, a little lesson on vegetables at the Blue Runner Creole Kitchen. Thank you for joining us today.